All right, y'all. So I'm back. I'm knocking them out. I figured while I have this extra time and I'm, I don't have a really hectic schedule today, so let me just come on and do um, a review for you guys. So I had gotten the Sunkissed Watermelon Creamy Protected Sun Balm and the Blackberry Conditioning Parfait in uh, the last hot cocoa box that I had gotten. And I just wanted to come on and share my experience with them. So first, let's talk about the Sunkissed Watermelon Creamy Protected Skin Balm. So, y'all, this stuff smells amazing. It smells to me just like a watermelon Laffy Taffy. Oh, smells so good. So let me show you guys the consistency. As you can see, it's really thick and creamy. Really nice and just just thick nice lusciousness so this right here is actually supposed to be like um, an all-natural skin protectant so I was really um, interested in using this product on here let's see what it says it says apply the balm to skin before going out in the Sun skin may appear somewhat pink where applied indicating the skin has been properly covered massage balm in reapply if your skin gets wet and I want to give you guys the ingredients but they are really small I'll read to you guys what I can it says that it has hibiscus infused water it's got wheat germ oil aloe leaf juice shea butter uh, glycerin sunflower seed oil rice bran oil avocado oil um sweet almond oil it has carrot seed oil fragrance and it looks like two preservatives so it has some really nice ingredients um so i tried to use this right and just like how it said on here that the skin may appear somewhat pink it was it went on it was not smooth it was very chalky um and I didn't like it here's my thing I'm all for a natural skin protectant however when I'm going to the beach or to the pool or whatever I want to look cute that's that's like my goal right I, I want to be cute and having the pasty residue on my skin um no that that's not that's not working for me so I would have to say that would be the only reason why I would not use this product is because it shows. It shows that you're wearing it. But, I mean, it smells really good and I hate that it just did not work for me. No, no, we're not going to be able to, to do that one. So, moving right along to the Blackberry Conditioning Parfait. So, let me show you guys what it looks like. And this one right here, you guys, has the charcoal in it. And the purpose of this deep conditioner was supposed to be for people that were um, going swimming and to, rem to remove the impurities of the uh, um, pool water and the chlorine and all that stuff from your hair. So that's why in this deep conditioner, she included the um, gray charcoal, which I thought was neat. Smells absolutely fabulous. Of course, what did you expect? It is cream and cocoa. Most of her most of her products are so on point as far as fragrance. So on here it says uh, it is the Blackberry Conditioning Parfait. And it has soothing botanicals, nourishing aloe, healing Indian gooseberry, avocado oil and shea butter to soften the hair. And it has the detoxifying mineral rich bamboo charcoal, which helps to remove the impurities. So let me show you guys what it looks like. It's really nice and thick and creamy as well um it went on to my hair really nice and smooth i mean the application was great i did not have any problems with that it left my hair um nice and soft my hair was moisturized um i really really liked it i don't have any complaints about it um in the way that it worked for my hair so let's see let me give you guys the ingredients because they are fairly decent it has pure water, avocado oil, acetyl alcohol, butyline glycol, shea butter, glycerin, aloe leaf juice, 
let's see what is that can't see that it has a acetic acid which is apple cider vinegar okay uh xanthan gum perfume d panthenol bamboo charcoal hydrolyzed oat protein so it it is it, also like a uh, protein uh dc as well so that's nice to know it also helps to restrengthen the hair after getting out of the pool and it has i don't know what this is y'all some type of extract um fruit powder slippery elm and some preservatives so yeah this one was really nice as well i really enjoyed using this product on my hair um, as far as these two products, I'm pretty sure you guys want to know, would I purchase these separately? The answer is no. You guys know why I wouldn't uh, purchase this. I mean, I haven't even used what's in, what's in here. So, you know. But this one right here, like I said, it did work for my hair. But I have so many other great deep conditioners that I'm not really looking for any new ones. It was nice to try. It was something different. But, um... I, I probably wouldn't purchase this um, on its own. So, yeah. So, you got one, one, you know, that was great. And then one that just was not so great. So, there you have it. I just wanted to come back and share with you um, how I felt about the products that were in my hot cocoa box. So, yeah, that's it, I think. I may come back with another video. I'm not sure. But if I don't, thank you guys so much for watching. And talk to you guys later. Bye.